For a dry kit setup, you'll want to have a few components available to help you select an installation point for your fan spray nozzle. You should do a hand-threaded assembly of both nitrous solenoids with their connection T-fitting and install the mounting bracket. Add the extension fitting for the nitrous pressure regulator along with its hose barb. Next, screw the nitrous filter into the initial solenoid, then thread in the feed line that travels from the secondary solenoid to the nozzle along with a tuning jet. Now you'll have a temporary plumbing assembly that will help you determine a number of variable mounting options. Place the temporary plumbing assembly under the hood and look around for the best point to introduce the nitrous into your engine. The nozzle and hose will most likely need to be inserted sideways rather than straight down because of hood clearance issues with the hose protruding from the nozzle. Locate the throttle body. It's the unit where the main air intake tube enters the engine. It has an actuation lever that controls the throttle plate inside. The nozzle needs to be positioned just upstream of your throttle body, but cannot be upstream of a mass airflow sensor. Finding a good location between the air cleaner and the throttle body, anywhere about 6 to 12 inches ahead of the throttle body opening, is best for most installs. You also have the option of drilling into the throttle body opening itself, as long as the throttle plate operation isn't interfered with. Drilling into an intake tube is another popular option. Another final option is using your stock plastic or rubber intake duct along with the nozzle mounting collar and its nut that's included in your kit. While you're here with the temporary plumbing assembly, consider the placement of the solenoids and the routing of the nitrous line from the bottle. Also, think about the vacuum line that will travel from the nitrous regulator to the stock engine fuel pressure regulator. Once you've picked an entry point for the nozzle, check that the feed line routing allows you to mount the solenoid bracket to a convenient place. Look for an existing bolt, or if it works better, consider adding a bolt and or adapter bracket to an unused pre-threaded hole in the engine. Also, remember you can change the orientation of the nitrous pressure regulator if needed. The regulator can be positioned straight down, perpendicular to the solenoids, or straight up and between the solenoids. Now that you've found a good spot for the nozzle and solenoid bracket, we can get to the actual installation of the nozzle. If you're going to drill into the throttle body opening, you'll actually be drilling through the clamp, the end of the intake tube, and the throttle body opening itself to get the most secure fit for the nozzle. You'll need to start by removing the intake tube, and then stuff a piece of rag or paper towel up against the closed throttle plate. You can tape the edges to help keep shavings out of the intake and throttle body interior. Also, stuff a large piece of rag into the intake tube to catch any debris from falling toward the air filter. Now replace the intake tube and its hose clamp and tighten the assembly so the tube is in its final install position. Mark the drilling point on the clamp or the intake tube if you have a split clamp like this and with a quarter inch drill bit, make a nice clean hole all the way through into the throttle body opening. Now pull off the intake tube and clamp Leave the throttle body opening plugged and, using the thread tap that was included in your kit, add threads to the hole in the throttle body opening. Be aware, you may need to remove a couple nearby components in order to get a full spin out of the tap wrench. Next, use a 5 16 inch bit to enlarge the holes in the clamp and the inlet duct. Make sure your new threads are clean and deburr any outer or inner edges with some fine grit sandpaper. Use a vacuum and or pressurized air to clear away all the metal and plastic shavings from inside the throttle body and inside the inlet duct interior. Remove all tape, plugs, or rags and make sure that no debris was caught in any interior ridges of the intake tube. Now you can reassemble the intake duct. Be sure to reset the alignment of the holes as you tighten the clamp. There is an alternate method for nozzle mounting if you don't want to drill into your throttle body. There's a nozzle mounting collar and nut that was included in your kit for installing the nozzle into the stock inlet duct or an aftermarket intake tube. As you decide on an entry point for the nozzle, keep in mind that you'll need hand access to the interior drilling point to install the mounting collar from inside the duct and will also need to hold the collar steady with a tool while you tighten the nut from the outside. With that said, drill a 7 16 inch hole into the inlet duct while it's removed from the vehicle. Clean out any shavings with air or a vacuum and make sure the edges are smooth. As we described, install the collar from the interior of the tube. Add some Teflon paste or a paste type sealer to the collar here. 
Now from the inside, hold the collar with the tool while you tighten the nut from the outside. At this point, make sure your entire intake assembly has been reassembled and tightened properly so we can install the nozzle to its new home. The nozzle will thread into place and needs two things for a proper install. The first is to mark the exposed area of the nozzle that should face forward. Before installing, look at the exit direction of the nitrous from the nozzle and directly above it, etch a mark in the exposed area of the nozzle so that as you thread it in, you'll know where to set the final pointing direction of the spray. The second thing you'll need to do is seal the threads of the nozzle. Do not use Teflon tape to seal the threads. Pieces can break off and enter your intake stream, potentially causing severe engine damage. So use a Teflon paste or a plumbing pipe thread sealant that contains PTFE, which is a Teflon derivative. With a thin, even amount of sealant on the threads, spin the nozzle into either the threads you created in the throttle body or the mounting collar that you installed in your intake duct or tube. Don't let the nozzle bottom out in the threads. When spinning the nozzle in by hand, if it seats and stops turning, just spin the nozzle slightly backwards until the mark that you made on the nozzle points directly towards the throttle body of the engine. The nozzle should feel secure, but remember the Teflon paste needs a bit of time to solidify.